Back at it again with another math video. This video is gonna be on the midpoint formula. Um, and this is the midpoint formula. So M for midpoint equals X1 plus X2 divided by two, comma. So this is all gonna be the X coordinate. So this whole thing equals the X coordinate. So maybe I'll write that over here. So, the x coordinate of the midpoint equals x of one plus x of two over two. So this whole thing has two x coordinates in it but those are of the endpoints. So all of this will actually become a single X coordinate of the midpoint. Um, and the Y coordinate of the midpoint equals Y1 plus Y2 over two. So both of these become a single coordinate. All right, so what I wanted to do with this first graph is cover the general form, the general formula using some um, coordinates, which I get you could visually see what they are because I put numbers on here. Um, but using just these coordinates, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight. And what you do is you use the two endpoints of a segment and you substitute them in into this formula so x1 y1 i usually you don't have to but what i usually do is i make the furthest left point on the graph the x1 y1 and the furthest right point x2 y2 because when we read we read left to right um so this is the first point as we go left to right and this is the second point as we go left to right doesn't matter so much as long as you don't mix um, mix them up. So you don't take X1 and Y1 and put it right here. And then if I highlight this. So what you get is all of the X's, you take the two X coordinates of the endpoints and you plop them up here and you take the two Y coordinates of the endpoints and you plop them over here. So these have to be X's because this is gonna become, this is gonna become M equals X, Y. Using the X, Y coordinates of the endpoints. So what you're gonna get is, you're gonna get this endpoint right here which we're going to call M and that is equal to the end or the, the point, the coordinates of this point, this midpoint M are equal to the two X values of the endpoints added together and divided by two and the two Y coordinates added together and divided by two will give you the X Y of that point. Okay make a little bit more sense hopefully as you do a few problems. So let's skip down here where I have a problem set up. So I start off by writing the general formula. The general formula is M equals um, X sub one plus X sub two all divided by two comma Y sub one plus Y sub two all divided by two. So now, I'm going to substitute in what I know. But I also want to show here that there's a few things that never change. In the formula, these never change. Also, these plus signs never change. What you have to decide is, what's the x1 value that goes right here? What's the x2 value that goes right there? What's the y1 value and what's the y2 value? So if I look here, I am going to make this my x1, y1. So this is gonna be my 
x1 and my y1, and I am going to make this coordinate my x2, y2. And like I said, as you go from left to right on the x um, axis, I like to do the most left point x1, y1, and the second point to the right x2, y2. So I'm going to get my x1 value. So my x1 value, I'm going to substitute that in. My x1 value is 1. So I'm going to put a 1 right here. Then the next thing I substitute is my x sub 2 value. My x sub 2 value is 3. All right. Now the next thing I do is my y sub 1 value, and that is 5. And then my y sub 2 value, which is negative 3. And I'm going to put parentheses around this because it's plus a negative. So put parentheses around that negative 3. All right. Might sneeze, got the window, I mean door open. All right, kicking up some dust. M equals. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start simplifying. What is one plus three? Well, that's four. What is five plus negative three? Two. All right, almost done. Now we know what four divided by two is, so that's two. 2 divided by 2 is 1. All right. Now what I like to do is I like to plot that point to double check, see if it actually looks like it's in the middle. Looks to me like that's in the middle. Looks to me like that makes this piece and this piece congruent. All right. So this would be M would be 2, 1, and that's the coordinates. Okay, that's how we use the midpoint formula. And I would actually answer this like this, because that is the point coordinate, all right? Hopefully that was helpful. I'm gonna move on to, um, I don't wanna say story problems, but when you give it to them in sentence form. So this is graphically, um, oh wait, no, there was something else I wanted to cover. I wanna tie this in no, I'm lying. I'm, I'm thinking of the distance formula. This is the midpoint formula. That's it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Now let's move on to when you're given midpoint questions in the form of a sentence. So still the same formula, but instead of been giving a graph where you can visually see the endpoints, you're just given the coordinates. So when you're just given the coordinates, I still like to start out with the general form. So M equals X of one plus X of two, all divided by two comma Y sub one plus Y sub two, all divided by two. So I'm gonna substitute in. And like I said, it really doesn't matter. Just pick a coordinate and make that coordinate your X one, Y one and then pick the other coordinate, or I guess I shouldn't pick, yeah, I mean, process of elimination, make the other coordinate, x sub two, y sub two, okay? So now I substitute in. So now when I go, m equals all over two, you put your plus sign, comma, all over two, put your plus sign, parenthesis. So when I substitute in for x sub one, that's gonna be negative three. When I substitute in for x sub two, that is gonna be seven. When I substitute in for y sub one, that's gonna be zero. And when I substitute for y sub two, I get negative 11. So I'm gonna put parentheses around this negative 11 because that's plus a negative. So whenever you have plus a negative, put parentheses around the negative you're adding. All right, now we simplify. So when we simplify this, we are going to get m equals uh, negative three plus seven is four over two, comma, zero plus negative 11 is negative 11. So we get negative 11 over two. Now, we are gonna do the last simplification step. So we're gonna get M equals four divided by two is two. At this point, 
I think for my students this year so far is the first time that I'm asking them to really answer with a decimal. Maybe not the first time, but definitely can count on my hand how many times I've asked them to answer with decimals so far. It's easier to answer with decimals when we are graphing. Um, so negative 11 divided by two would be negative 5.5. All right, so when you are graphing, when, I mean, I would advise this to my students, when, they're, when they are graphing, um, it's nicer to have things that are not fractions. It's nicer to have coordinates that are in decimals. Even if you have to round them, um, it's just nicer to graph when you have decimals and not some funky, large looking um, fractions, even though that wasn't large, but you get my point. Um, that's not how I would answer it. Again, how I would answer this is M parenthesis two negative 5.5, because this is the actual point that you would plot, all right, or label on a graph. Let's go through one more example of this and then we'll call it a video. Um, actually, you know, what I feel like you should do if you're watching this video, um, whether it be on YouTube or I somehow managed to have the time with everything going on to make it, make this into an ed puzzle, um, that you pause the video and try this for yourself. So pause. Okay. Now we're back and I'm going to go through it. So hopefully, you tried this by yourself, and now I'm going to go through and show you the steps. So we get x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2, comma, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. All right, then m equals divide by 2, put a plus sign, comma, divide by 2, put a plus sign. All right, now I'm going to highlight just to keep track for myself, that's gonna be my x sub one, y sub one. This is gonna be my x sub two, y sub two. So x sub one, y sub one, x sub two, y sub two. Okay, so I substitute. So x sub one is negative two. x sub two is negative three, so I'm gonna put parentheses because that's plus a negative. And then we get y sub 1 is negative 4. And y sub 2 is positive 4. All right. Now we just have to start simplifying. So we get m equals negative 2 plus negative 4 is negative 5 over 2. And then negative 4 plus 4 is 0 over 2. And we get m equals last almost last step, negative five divided by two. Like I said, when we're graphing, when we're doing coordinates on a graph, we like to use decimals. So we get negative 2.5 and then zero divided by two is zero. And just like I said here, how we would actually want to answer this is capital M because points are labeled with capital letters. So capital M equals, or I shouldn't say equals, capital M is negative 2.5 comma zero. All right. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you got it right if you tried it. And if you didn't get it right, I hope you understand where you messed up on your paper um, behind the video. So thank you for watching. And I hope this was helpful. And I'll see you again when I make another video. If it'll pause, it's not stopping.